Good day, Martin Yetrun of Ministry. It is so important for the Lord that our eyes must be single. When we go to the Bible, and I want to read to you in um, Luke 11 verses 33, Jesus will speak on this. It says, No man, when he have light a candle, put it in a secret place, neither under a bushel, but on a candlestick, that they which come in may see the light. They must see the light. You have the light of Jesus Christ inside of you because John 1 verse 4 says Jesus Christ is the light and is the life of man. And that light and that life must be in you. And you must not hide that. And sometimes we are hiding it. Listen now, how are we lighting? And then he speaks the following. The light of the body is the eye. The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when thy eye is single, thy whole body also is full of light. So your eye is connected to your life and your light that God gave inside of you. When you said, Lord, I receive you, come with your light and life in me. Now, you must not hide that light, but you can hide it the way you look at things. And the way you look at things is very important because if your eyes are single or are one focused, single means focus on one, then your whole body is full of light and life and that is the place where you shine this light and this life to man and they can see it. But um, it says, when thy eye is evil, so when your eye is focused on evil, the whole body all is full of darkness. So it's so important, your eyes must be single and it must be only on Jesus, who is the light and the life and the glory of God inside of you. Focus on that. It must be single, then your whole body will also be full of life and light. And wherever you go, this life and light shines for men. And you bring life to circumstances and people all over. So it must be single. But if it is on darkness, when your eyes are focused on evil and darkness and sin and all these kinds of things, then you are double-minded, you are double-focused, and then your life and light is not so great. And that, that is the place where you put actually your light under a bushel. Then we go to Revelation. Very important scripture, not, not well known, but we know about the seven churches that John had to write to. And Jesus Christ said, John, write to this one. And this is very important to know. Because she is busy with spiritual fornication. She is a prophetess in, in, in Revelation 2 verse um, 20 and 21. We will read. She teach things. And, and every one of my servants that listens to her is with her in this adultery and fornication. It's a spiritual fornication and adultery. And I'm going to come and reward her and all her and her children with death and with great tribulation. Behold, I will cast her into a bed. A bed is a place of rest where you need actually a place where there's peace, where you have joy and where you are right standing before God. But I will cast her into a bed. And all of them who commit adultery with her into a great tribulation. Meaning this bed is full of great tribulation. Your life is full of great tribulations and stuff. Except they repent. Now listen now verse 23. And I will kill her children with death. And all the churches shall know that I am which searches uh, the reins and the hearts. I will give unto her every one of you according to your works. But unto you I say, 
Listen now. And and to the rest of this church, as many as have not this doctrine, this doctrine is a teaching that she teach that time and people eat and they heard and they took it and they partook of this. It's a doctrine and which have not known the depths of Satan. It is a teaching of the depths of Satan as they speak. They speak, they are going so deep into the doctrine of Satan. How and what is his plan and how is his working and you get this power and this principalities and this forces in evil places. It's a doctrine of those people and they teach it in the church and all who eat and listen and obey herself and all the children. I will come with death and bring a bed of destruction upon them because it's spiritual fornication and adultery because their eyes are not single i want them to focus on christ alone the light and the life so that your light and your life can shine for man but now it's double focused and that's why god will come and put her on her bed because she know and she teaches two things. Sometimes we are missing things because of um, teachings of the church that brought us to a place that said we must know all the things of Jesus and we must know all the things of Satan. And then we teach this um, so that people will have the knowledge. But you are not supposed to be eating the, the tree of uh, of good and evil you are only supposed to eat the tree of life and speak life i only want to hear paul is saying about jesus christ and him being crucified that means about jesus christ and that he did him being crucified means it's fulfilled all the prophecies and the law he fulfilled it i only want to hear the fulfilled promises of jesus christ and focus be single focus and that light and that life that we have inside of us will bring much life to us and to everyone because we are a city we must not hide this but you can hide it if you are double focused and you speak of then this government and then you are focused on this evil and then the illuminati and the cabal and whatever teachings and and um, the frame messalage um, whatever they uh, are calling in english uh, yeah, doesn't matter what their plans is we speak christ and the more I focus on Christ and His glory, the more I become and that which I behold. I am changed to glory and people can see the glory and can feel the glory and the light. May this bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.